Hi, this is Tamara Drake with UkiahValley.tv, bringing you the latest in news from Mendocino County. Monday morning, a car traveling north on Highway 101 crossed the center median and came to rest facing south on the southbound shoulder of the freeway. The passenger of the vehicle was seemingly unharmed, but taken to Ukiah Valley Medical Center. Emergency crews extracted the driver from the vehicle and he was airlifted to another medical facility. We spoke with Ukiah Fire Division Chief Kurt Thompson. Single vehicle rollover, possible head injury, and uh, hence the reason for landing CalStar on the scene. They're from Arcata. Both units are both the Department of Ukiah Fire and Ukiah Valley. They did a fantastic job of working together. Sunday, during the Frost Protection Task Force meeting in Santa Rosa, the district and agriculture interests were blindsided by State Water Resource Control Board staff and National Marine Fisheries Service as they introduced the preparation of emergency regulations banning the use of water for frost protection in the Russian River Basin in 2009. We spoke with Russian River Flood Control General Manager Sean White. So we went to this last meeting and we're thinking, hey, you know, I was gonna come like, hey, it looks like we actually have a little water, so. We won't be able to go crazy for frost, but I think there'll be some frost protection that will go on and we can try our system out. Instead, they're like, no, actually, we just decided to draft regulation and make it illegal instead. It is, they're in the process of preparing emergency regulations that would basically ban the use of frost in the absence of a water master for the Russian River in 2009. We don't have a water master and they know that, <laughs> so uh, that's why that's in there. Sunday marked the 26th annual Women's History Gala. The event was presented by the National Women's Political Caucus, the American Association of University Women, Seroptimus International, and the Saturday Afternoon Club. We talked with District Attorney Meredith Lintott. Well, we're here for Women's History Day, which is one of the most wonderful events that's put on by um, political women as well as university women, and it's a fabulous tradition. There's always great speakers, and we've got great singing and entertainment and silent auction to raise money. So if you're not here, you better come next year. It's a great time. The theme, Women Taking Lead to Save Our Planet, was dedicated to Judy Berry, who was an environmentalist and labor leader, a feminist, and the principal organizer of Earth First. She organized campaigns against logging in the ancient redwood forests in Northern California in the 1980s and 90s. This year's program is dedicated to Judy Berry. I think you all know who she was, and maybe some of you, as I did, met Judy many years ago. Six women were honored for their contribution to local environmental causes, including offshore oil development, forest protection, and their environmental and social organizations. The event included a silent auction, songs and poetry. This is Tamara Drake for UVTV. Check back often for more local news.